happening guys Mante Martinez back again just want to get back into it now I'm gonna pop up these videos thank you for the comments like subscriptions let's keep it going and again guys again my theory right now about the brown juice and I think to be honest for me most of the things I personally like seem to come from this type of they seem to have a brown coloring in in um, in the juice that is there guys and and it was interesting when I popped that video the other day about 1 million and someone mentioned in the comment section to say for what that fragrance is and what it used to be obviously it used to just kill out the you know kill the room out you don't have to spray a little bit and the whole room will be pumping smelling that but it's funny guys that we're sleeping on these older fragrances i don't know why i know these new fragrances coming out all the time and it's good to smell them um i mean you've got that one um stronger stronger with you a stronger view intensely again i've smelled both both of them i've shown you a bottle of it i've opened a bottle of it um it's good it shows it projects but there's still some tried and tested fragrances guys that are being overlooked and i think it's a shame that we do that it's one of those things where ultimately it's down to personal choice but for me guys one that's been overlooked and it's interesting and i wanted to mention it because i smelt rohan's man sorry rohan perfumes um i mentioned this one before this one with the cognac in it creation e and to me guys we're sleeping on this angel man pure malt i tell you again guys had to go and get a new bottle of this now i know people are going to say it's being formulated what's the batch code it is there guys if you can see it if you cannot see it please let me know i will put it in the description i will try my best now i had a bottle of this talking that nearly probably about a couple years back now and yes it doesn't smell as strong this is the 2000 i mean it's 2018 now 2019 sorry and i'm put i purchased this one just now um 100 mil cost me 40 pounds in the uk um and again for those that know the tricks of the trade for what we do you need to cut a little bit of an insertion over the top so you can get the, sm the spray going well pure juice guys pure juice top notes top notes being the fruit we get into it guys so we got the fruit we got the bergamot we got we got the uh, orange then we have the malt fantastic scent then we have the patchouli going in guys then we have the uh, coffee bean which again i was i was surprised to note that in, is in there cedar wood and that lo and behold that note guys that we all like is the whiskey note um with some musk some amber in the base um with some vanilla and some uh, peat now for me guys what i get from this is like a creamy type of scent the top notes being open the fruitiness lingers with a little bit of the musk and the, and the cedar but the, the whiskey note guys this is a well blade, blended fragrance i personally will be attempting tomorrow guys and i'm going to try my best to get some reviews on this some ladies opinions and let you guys know because that's what it's about as well guys i don't want to buy a fragrance necessarily just to have a fragrance and just have it i want to be out there i'm going to wear this in a dancing scenario it's going to be warm it's going to be pumping off let's see how it goes this lasts forever easily getting about five hours plus on this one guys now because of the projection it's one of those things that you gotta go careful on the trigger it's not a it may not appear like that way in the opening when you spray it and you get the sweetness but because of the dry down you get that whiskey guys and you get those woodsy notes this is a cool fragrance this is definitely for the cold winter fragrances that you need in your collection this isn't one really for the summertime um i've also got um i think it's pure tonka this is pure malt i think i got pure tonka as well and um, that one even that one i probably only wear that at christmas time that one's even even more in your face than this one to the point that I can choke you out this one again guys you've got to be careful on this one but for me again it's a classic it stays in the collection periodically i have to pull out for these ones these type of fragrances guys and i know we talk about zara fragrances all day long um but these ones are just not being imitated at all the house has done a fantastic job with this and they're still doing a job in what they're doing and bringing out different fragrances, guys. Angel Man was the original version. You can smell an element of that with the vanilla in this one in the dry down. But that malt, guys, that whiskey, that whiskey note really gives it that, that, that something more to keep on deck. So this is just one of my fragrances that I really enjoy, guys. That's just my review on this one. Um, I wouldn't even necessarily wear this to the office. This is just for chilling in the winter months, in the cold weather. It's one of those ones that you just got to keep around. And depending on how you feel, you can put it on and see how it goes. But this is one for me, guys. Have you got any more of these, guys? Let me know your thoughts. Um, and I'll see you soon, guys. Make sure, again, guys, to join the Facebook group. It's down there. Information is below. Comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon. 
Jeremy Fragrance, I know he's done his stuff. I'm going to put up a video just saying a few words on it. I can't be bothered getting into it. I know people are going to thumb down the video and say they're sick of hearing it. For me, it's actually concerning what I'm seeing and I'm slightly unhappy with it. I'm going to do a few words and that is it. I won't speak about it anymore because it's tiring, it's boring. Okay, guys, that's it. Matt Martinez, see you soon.